This is the entrance to the Free Zones Enclave here in Timam. Now, for many of the workers that work here, coming to work every day is now becoming a challenge because of the tow booths situated behind me. Now, for as many times that workers enter into this enclave, they would have to pay a fee depending on the kind of vehicle they use. They say that they do not understand why a toll booth will be situated at the entrance to their workplace and they believe that this is a nuisance. Me name the reason why I want this auto booth was at the Ababisiano because Obia or Ba Edwe Biano. So if you are feeling an Eba Uber Chato, if you are crying Eba Uber Chato. But what drew Frizzo and Mosso now was Ababa Ramoso? Now I saw you two city. Eh, yeah, eh, yeah, what I say. And I can be the Hanamo a shot at the sea, uh, Sir Tama come to one to a Fiena, uh, boom, road, no, because of such Ghana, what would you hand me to a block at Sakwino? Oh, I'm a Sir, I must say, I know we are more free to hand from Brown, we are hot. All the time we used to come here since about four years now, we don't pay any toll booth, but we came and worked then. We go our way, we get our dairy bread. But now once they bring their tow booth, that means you have to enter all the time, you have to pay, you have to pay. And that one is affecting us. Because we, we are coming for our dairy bread. But before we go leave, we have to pay tow booth. And we don't see what they are using the tow booth to do. Because they said here is free zone, I think it's supposed to be free. Anything that we said is free, it's supposed to be free. But I don't know the reason why all of a sudden, then they are coming to take our money from here again. The Tema Free Zones Enclave, with a total area of 1,200 acres, is home to more than 50 companies who are into manufacturing, service and commercial export activities. In their current situation, whether you are bringing in a container truck carrying raw materials from the Tema port or a saloon car belonging to a worker, you will have to pay because a tow booth has been mounted at the place. Workers within the enclave are unhappy about the development and are asking questions because it inconveniences them as it causes traffic, among other things. Uh, it's, uh, it's affecting us in the way that when we get to the other two booths, the, the saloon cars are, uh, have been charged 50 pesos. But if you get into the free zone here, you pay one CD, which is too expensive. So the authorities should do something about it. But this is where we work. So it's like you have to pay to go to the place where you work. And we've raised the issue with the authorities, but it looks like nobody is listening to us. It, bother, it bothers us because, you know, we pay for rent. I mean, rent for the ground. Uh, we pay for the upkeeping of the place. And so, you know, it's a new sense to us if you are asked to pay, you know, to get to where you know you work. Well, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It has to be taken away. It has to be taken away. I mean, um, I don't think people people go to their workplace here in Ghana and then they have to pay for entry. I've not seen it anywhere. So, or is it because it's a free zone? Come on. At the end of the day, you know, um, we are all Ghanaians. We all, those who work over here are Ghanaians. So you don't want to see a situation whereby people will have to pay for for entry into their workplace. Put your money free, I win ya. Because I will try to buy Uber Chato. If you are feeling as hard as one as I'll buy Uber Chato, I don't know. Fuse a crap of a back room at the Hanamo. A crap of a back part of the Hanamo. Ah, yet again, I'm my mommy, I'm my own crack. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. And yet, oh. Each time a saloon car or a motorbike wants to enter the free zones enclave, the driver or rider will be charged one Ghana city. For pickups, medium buses and SUVs, the bill is 1 Ghana CDs 50 pesos. Medium goods trucks with 3 axles pay 3 CDs, while extra large trucks are charged 4 Ghana CDs. Prior to the introduction of the toll booth earlier this year, the Association of Free Zones Enterprises says it had had discussions with the Free Zones Authority since 2019 when the idea was first proposed. Right from the beginning, the association was not enthused by the idea. A committee was set up to find a compromise by Secretary of the Association. Amanda Gadgetpo says their concerns about the cost and inconvenience were not considered. After several meetings with the Free Zones, a committee was set up uh, consisting of members of the Enclave as well as uh, 
some people from the Free Zones Authority to you know deliberate on the issues and uh, we raised all our concerns and uh, that's where we left it until this year when all of a sudden we were informed that uh, the tools will start again. We, we made several suggestions as I mentioned earlier on. One was that you could charge us a monthly, um, some sort of monthly maintenance fee as against paying for the tool because again, but uh, we have received no response from them and uh, this is where we currently stand. Uh, our members are not really happy. Some have had no option but to go ahead and pay because, I mean, again, then you need to access your, your property. You can't just stop business altogether. But uh, it seems to be like nobody's listening to us. Back in the enclave, some workers who already have electronic carts preloaded with funds are suggesting to authorities to create an alternative entry point for such persons as a way of easing the traffic situation at the only entry point. Toll gate is good, no problem. But one thing I am facing problem with queue. I am paying electronic ticket is there, but still I am waiting for the queue. There is no separate line for the e-tickets. I am suggest, I am interested to make a one more line for separate line for the e-tickets, so that I can go easily access the, and so I am not waiting too much time, I am waiting some time. The man in charge of the Ghana Free Zones Authority at the time the idea of the toll booth was conceived is Michael Otrebefi, who is currently the MP for New Drabin South and the Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry. He justifies the decision. Now, we are, apart from the fact that we have increased the, the security in the enclave, we have also spoken to the Ghana Armed Forces also to beef up security in the enclave. I mean, all these things, we have to use money to, uh, to provide service for them. And that's why we say that we cannot just operate when in an enclave, a big enclave like that, which is a strictly private business or private entity which is financed and maintained by the Ghana Free Zones Authority strictly. So clearly we have to generate money to maintain the roads. We have to generate money to take care of other common user facilities in the enclave. Albeit they pay this maintenance. How much they don't pay as far as we know, there's no free zones en enterprise or any tenant within the enclave pays anything to the Ghana Free Zones in, in terms of uh, in the area of uh, maintenance. And these are things that are done in other jurisdictions. It is part of the best practices of Free Zones. Yet the Association of Free Zones Enterprises disagrees with this motive, saying that nothing has changed since the measure was implemented. They want the toll boots removed. The, uh, the toll should be scrapped completely. I think we need to go back to the drawing board again. Like we mentioned, we understand that there are issues that need to be addressed in the enclave. The infrastructure needs to be improved upon. It needs to be worked on. We need street lights. We need uh, roads. We need better security. We are willing, and all the enterprises have said, we are willing to come to so some sort of compromise. Do we, should we pay maintenance, monthly maintenance fees? We are open to that. You have to pay an annual fee. Should we pay a lump sum of money that everybody agrees on to uh, kickstart the you know, the improvement of the infrastructure, we're willing to that. But for the tolls, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's counter, it's not going to bring any benefits to anybody. It seems their request might not be granted because the Deputy Minister for Trade and Industry says government has no intention of decommissioning the toll booth. It is not going to happen today and I'm not sure it will happen tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, this is something that we need to, we should have done long ago. You know, Frison spends so much. It is the only state agency within the Ministry of Trade, that is not submitted by government. So free zones generate small, and it's about the, the perception in the outside world is that free zones have so much money. We don't have money. We generate small, small fees, and these fees are used to service or manage the business. How can you manage a business when you don't have specific line of maybe subvention given to you by government? We don't have anything like that. Even through compensation and remuneration, we do it ourselves. And everything, so we generate little, but we have a lot of spending, and th these are things that will help us to maintain the roads in the enclave. For now, the toll booth still stands, and as to whether workers here would get their wish by having it moved forever, only time will tell. Ni Ama Ama, City News, Tema.